afternoon baseball here on the show. Ought to be a good one here between the Philadelphia Phillies and the New York Yankees. Lou Gehrig, the American League's leading hitter, continues his bid at a batting title right after this. Lefty Grove will be on the bump for game two of the series. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, Matt, this is one of the game's all-time best pitchers. Over 300 career wins, and he's been doing his thing for a long time. It'll be interesting to see if he can continue that solid work in this one today, Matt. Here's Paul Goldschmidt now. He's assuming the role of DH in this interleague matchup. Yeah, Matt, that's one of the funny things about National League teams playing in AL ballparks. All of a sudden, the lineup kind of changes dramatically. But the cool thing is it gets more guys a chance to get some at-bats or time in the field. Here's the one-and-one one delivery. Well, pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Well, this Yankee ball club entering play this afternoon here. They've been hot of late, winners in four straight. Yeah, Maddie, this team is playing well right now, and they got their ace on the mound. This guy has unbelievable stuff, and, and I can't underestimate the fact that this is a day game. We are creatures of habit. Guys are used to playing 7 o'clock games at night and rolling out of bed around 12, 1 o'clock and heading to the yard. Instead, they're going to get stuff thrown down their throat right at that time. I hope these guys got out of bed and got a few cups of coffee in them. Hit in the air down the right field line. Long run for the right fielder. He gets there and makes the play for the first down. Batting second. The center fielder, number one, Ricky Ashburn. Stepping into the box, Richie Ashburn, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. One out, nobody on. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. And just a Chamber of Commerce afternoon for baseball. 82 degrees here at first pitch. The 2 1 home. Is strike two swinging. Oh, I love that pitch right there. Up and in. Jam sandwich. Hit out towards second. He'll get to this one deep in the hole. On to first, and there were two down. That is third. Good the range shown off into the hole right. right there. That's not an easy play, but these guys make it look that way sometimes. Coming to the plate now, Mike Schmidt hoping to stay hot. He had a couple of hits, including a home run yesterday. A 1-1. Hit in the air down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. The one two. Ball two. And there are the umpires assigned to this one. Calling balls and strikes is Mr. Mike Fillmore. Hey, you know, D-Roll, Mike Fillmore, he'll give a little bit off the edges, but he gets the respect not only from the pitchers, but from the players because his zone is consistent. Yeah, as long as he's consistent, okay. Dan, I'm okay with Mike Fillmore's zone. If a pitcher's pounding that zone, he wants to give a little bit off the outer edge, I'm okay with that. Bases are empty here with two men out. Drive base hit into the left center field gap. And this will find the wall out near Monument Valley. And he is in the second with a two out double. That's a pitch he'll look back on and relive tonight when he's lying in bed. A pitch away from posting a zero in the first. And he makes a big mistake and he pays the price. So now he's got to work on leaving him out there at second base.
to the plate now, Reese Hoskins. Two, two and one. one. Hey, I know we're only in the top of the first, but back-breaking blows are those two out runners in scoring position knocks, and they have a chance to capitalize right here. Boy, Dero, you touched it on it right there. I think as a pitcher, you try to get through that first inning and not have to show all of your pitches and empty out the bucket. That two-out double. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Danger averted following the two-out double. More to come on the show Sunday baseball after this. Zach Wheeler is on the mound for game two. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, you take a look at that ERA. That's a little bloated right now. This guy's a better pitcher than that, but he hasn't been real consistent. One good game, one bad game. I think what he needs to do, if he can string together three or four good quality games in a row, that ERA will start creeping back down. He definitely needs to start pitching a lot better than he has up to this point, and it'll be interesting to see if he can turn it around in this one. Now at the plate, Hannes Wagner. And there's a look at his home and road splits so far this year. The 3 1. Wheeler has racked up over 1,300 innings on the Major League mound and sports an ERA right around the Major League average at just over four. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. But this will wind up being a foul ball. The 3 2 one more time. And he takes ball four. So the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a scoreless ball game. Batting second, the left fielder, number nine. Next for New York, Minnie Minoso. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. Wagner on at first, nobody out. Lifted in the air out to center field. Ashburn will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Batting third, the designated hitter, Ted Williams. Now at the play, Ted Williams. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. Runner goes for second. Pitch is high. The throw, not in time. He's in there at second. Good steal of second there, and that really sets up the middle of this order to drive in a run and break this scoreless ball game. Always great if you can score first early in the game. Runner at second here with one man out. Williams swings and drives a fly ball out to deep right field. Back goes Harper, and that one is gone! A two-run blast to straightaway right field, number 28 on the season, and this is now a 2 to nothing lead for the Yankees. I know height sights 2020, but you can't throw that pitch to that guy. Don't forget, he homered yesterday. So you know he's locked in and ready to roll up there. We'll see if he learns from that mistake. Digging in now for the Yankees, Lou Gehrig. He's had a phenomenal year at the plate entering this August contest as the league's batting average leader. I've never been in this position in my career before. I wonder if he's counting games down. You certainly want to walk away at the end of the year with a batting ground. Dan Dero, these Phillies, as they begin play here today, they come in in a bit of a rough patch. They've dropped four in a row. Yeah, Maddie, this team has definitely been struggling recently, and then you get a look up right now, and you're going to face the ace. Somebody has to step up for this team. I'll tell you what, if they're able to score a few early runs off him and put him on the defensive, this could be a huge momentum swing for this team. And with an average over 400 over his last few series, he's certainly making his case for the batting title here in August. 
Yeah, and this is when you run down the competition. The dog days of August start creeping in. Sweltering heat out there. And you got to find a way to lock in. That's certainly what he's done over the last 10 games. Absolutely crushing the baseball. Let's get it going, boys. Somebody's loose, hitting 98 with ease in the first inning. Pulled toward right center field. Harper on the run. But he won't have a play. This is down and into the gap. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. So he picks up that another hit. First of the Look game, but as we've mentioned, it's just Victory. one of many so far this season for him. Yeah, Matty, I know he's fighting for a batting title right now, but the consistency this guy has shown from start to finish this season has been awesome for this team. Talking to the manager before the game, he's the one guy when he walks in the clubhouse door, you know exactly what you're getting from him. Digging in, Mickey Mantle. He's currently fourth in the AL in RBIs, and he's got a chance to add to that total right here. Yeah, he's not driven in many over the last 10 games, though. We'll see if he can pick some up in this one. From the stretch. And though he's one of the league's best hitters to this point, the average has taken a dip over the last few series. He's sitting in the low 200s over his last 10 games. Yeah, a lot of guys usually have peaks and valleys throughout the year. They grab about four slumps a year. He's only had 10 games where he hasn't swung the bat well, but he's picking the wrong time to do it. He has got to pick up the pace right now. And he held up in time, but it's strike three called, and there are two down. You know, I'm not quite sure how that strikeout will be scored, looking or swinging. He tried to check his swing, but I'm pretty sure the home plate umpire was ringing him up regardless. At the plate, Eddie Matthews pulled high in the air out to right field. Harper has a read on it. And the inning is over. Yankees get a couple on the two-run home run. We'll head to the top of the second. It's now 2 nothing, New York. Striding in, Bryce Harper, as it'll be 5, 6, and 7 due up to kick off the second inning. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. misses badly it's ball two and while he's cultivated one of the league's best batting averages the pace has slowed down ever so slightly in recent days he's hitting under 300 over his last 10 games yeah the last 10 games he's certainly treading water right now but if you can mix in that knock when you don't feel great at the plate the track record says he's going to get hot again and when he does watch out And it's fouled away. Now another 2-2. Two -two. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. And while he's been one of the best at the plate all year, his recent numbers have brought him back down to earth a bit. Yeah, he's running into the dog days right now. But over the last 10 games, he's almost at 300. And that's nothing to shake a stick at. Most guys would take that for an entire season. This guy has watched his average dip just a smidge over his last 10 games. Profile. In now, Jurickson Profar. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Mantle's on the move. He can't get there in time, and now it hops over the wall for a ground rule double. Hey, there's a hard hit ball that was going to be down for extra bases. The ball had some spring on it, and it bounced over the wall, and the ground rule double puts him on second base without having to leg it out. 
So now to the plate, Jimmy Rollins. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And he just couldn't keep that ball fair as it winds up a long foul ball. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough go then at the plate with him, and watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them. Standing in now, Davey Grion. Now a fork ball, but this will bounce near the plate for a ball. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Not much you're going to do with that pitch right there. You have to catch it out front before it even breaks. And even if you do that, it's a tough pitch to keep fair. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. And it'll wind up hanging just long enough for him to run it down. And with that, the side is retired. One left for Philadelphia. They're down two to nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And set to go is the veteran first baseman, Don Mattingly. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Here it comes on one and one. Two balls, one strike. And with an average over the 300 mark in his last 10 games, he's showing no signs of slowing down as we begin winding down the regular season. Yeah, with only a couple weeks left, this guy has given you months and months of production. Every time he strides to the plate, certainly looks confident and has been swinging a hot bat lately. And the count will be full. The 3 2 pitch. A bouncer up the middle. Reined in. Throw in the dirt to first, and he can't come up with it cleanly. I know that has to be frustrating from Got a pitcher's hit. standpoint. But base nice base. execution, nice Ball hustle. Base. Bottom line, nice hustle. Gun. Pitcher oh. still one good pitch away from getting a double play. You know, D-Roll, one of the things you want to do is make quality pitches as a pitcher. And there's not much you can do right there. You make a pretty good pitch, and the next thing you know, you have a leadoff single on an infield ground ball. And he misses two and one. From the stretch. Oh, that goes. They know the threat this guy possesses at the plate. I know it's 3 1 in this situation right here, but I can't imagine anything comes over the heart of the plate. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. There's a ball ripped toward the gap in left center. And the throw in gets away from him. And the ball's back in quickly, so it'll be second and third now with that nobody out. Look this guy just feasts Go. on mistakes up in the zone, and, and that's exactly what he gets right here. A belt-high pitch, he drives into the alley. Great chance now with two runners in scoring position. Settling in now, Joe Torre. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. The 3-1. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Yeah, the pitching coach would hate now to go to the bullpen this stop. early in the game, but sometimes you have no choice. On the flip side, he might just get in his face a little bit out there, try to challenge him, wake him up from his funk. Either way, we'll see how it works.
Stepping in, Hannes Wagner. He reached on a walk in his last time up and later came around to score. Bases loaded here, nobody out. Swing and a flare hit toward right. Harper coming on, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. And they'll extend their lead even further as the runs in to score from third. It's a 3-0 game. Well, you can see what happens here. He's so focused on lining up to make his throw that he forgets one small detail. You gotta catch it first. So he gets tagged with an error as well he should. Base is full now following the error. And standing in is the veteran outfielder, Minnie Minoso. Tight spot. Base is loaded. Nobody out. Right side hit hard. And he tries to get to the backhand, but it gets on by. And that'll bring home another as they open it up to a 4 0 advantage the now. Hitter, number nine. Boy, that's a good piece Man. of hitting Dewa right there. Takes the pitch Real away job. and just goes ahead and slaps it to the opposite field. Yeah, just grabbed himself an RBI right there. Didn't try and do too much. Took what the pitcher gave him, and it worked out. At the plate now, Ted Williams. High in the air out to center field. Catch is made. Runner tagging from third. And they'll add another as this is now a 5-0 game. One of the things you oh, want to do as an offense, right, is the right stay field. fundamental and keep Whoa. pushing. A great job there. Yeah, Sack right. fly pushes the third run across in this inning. Here comes the Philly skipper on his way out toward the mound. And that is going to be all for Zach Wheeler. So he'll depart early here this afternoon as he just never got into any kind of groove out there. Your Adonis Medina please. enters from the pen now, in just the second inning, so they'll hope to get some Number length out of him and have him stay out there for a while. Medina. Lou Gehrig will be the first to greet him here as he'll do so with runners at the corners and only one out. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. I think he was trying to be a little too fine there, and a walk is the result. Well, the good news is he has a force at every base. The bad news? A single probably drives in a couple of runs. Ready for another chance? Mickey Mantle. He hits here in a spot where he might be able to put this one out of reach. Yeah, Matt. Down five. Another run across here could very well put the nail in the coffin. Mentally, they might still feel like they've got a shot if they could get out of this jam, though. He's set. Here's the three and two. Lifted the other way out to left center. Long run for the center fielder. He can't get to it. This one's down. And he's safe. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. You know who's the happiest man in the building right now? His starting pitcher. Now he's bad. got a big old smile on his face. Pitch. He knows he has a six-run lead here in the early going to work with. You can't let that take away your edge, though. to the plate now Eddie Matthews hit the target but this is low two and one in his career Matthews hits a little over the 270 mark ground ball sent back up the middle and this scoots under his glove oh what a time for that throw won't get him The first baseman, number 23, John Mattingly. At the plate, Don Mattingly. Two balls and a strike to the Yankees' first baseman. Somebody's getting frustrated. He's not used to getting hit around like this.
right. And that pitch comes over to catch the corner. It's two and two now. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout or are you still looking for the double play ball? Good time to try to put the ball down in the strike zone. You can either get a strikeout or a potential double play ball. Line towards center field. In there, base hit, and that ought to get the run in from third. Now batting, the second baseman, Robinson Cano. Into the box now, Robinson Cano. Nope. Out there. And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. It's not easy to continue pounding the strike zone when you've given up three consecutive hits, but he has to trust that getting the ball down in the zone will get him an out. On a rope to the second baseman. Now batter, the catcher, Joe Torrey. Now at the plate, Joe Torre. He scored after reaching on a walk in his first at bat. Two men are on with two men out. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. The one two. A bouncer to the left side. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. But a big inning here as seven runs cross the plate, and this lead grows even wider. We played two full. The Yankees lead this one nine to nothing. Up next will be Nick Williams. He enters play hitting down in the 240s for the year. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. And he pumps the fastball by yep. him here. One, one and two. two now. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel of that one. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Well, this lineup obviously doesn't get to see this guy very often because now he's batting. over in the other league, the and it's really hitter. showing. He's oh. pitching really well oh. right now, and I'm sure these hitters are plenty happy they don't have to face him multiple times this year. Stepping in now, Paul Goldschmidt. In there, one and two now. He'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Bases are empty, one man out. And a full count to Paul Goldschmidt. Three balls and two strikes. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non-competitive pitch like that on two and two. That one wasn't even close. And no messing with Goldschmidt there as he'll take first on ball four. Well, the reason power hitters generally draw more walks than other now guys is exactly what we saw two. right there. Pitchers work around them and Absolutely. nibble the corners a lot more so they don't get burned. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of the zone. Digging in now for Philadelphia, Richie Ashburn. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. He's set, and the one-two pitch. Swing and a looper to left. Left fielder coming in. Oh, and he can't come up with it. Man, this guy's really starting to swing the stick again, no D-Roll. That extends his hitting streak to nine games. Yeah, he's <laughs> leaking into three series right here now. Nine games, that's getting firm. He's seeing the ball well, and he's making the proper adjustments at the plate. Fouled off.
to two balls and two strikes now. Number three hole hitter up right now. Cleanup guy on deck. Two ball, two strike count. I think pitcher wants to make something happen right here. First and second now. One man out. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. The first base and that will be the cleanup spot for the Phillies. Reese Hoskins. He flew out in his last at bat. Two down, runners at first and second. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as yes, he did. It's ruled a strike. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. Pretty good breaking ball to lay off of right there. If I'm pitching, I might think this guy might be sitting on something off speed. Here now the 2 2. High in the air out to center field. Long run for the center fielder. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Phillies leave a couple. They're looking up at a 9-0 deficit. Bottom of the inning now, and stepping in is the veteran shortstop, Hannes Wagner. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs too. Swing and a miss on the slider and that's out number one. Really impressive pitching right there. Now Sometimes as a pitcher you number can get nine. frustrated when you make a good pitch and you don't get that call from the umpire. But what does he do? He comes back with a good pitch and gets the strike. In now, Mini Minoso. Hey. Two and two. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Now the payoff pitch home. He is swung on and missed strike three. The main job of the number one and two hitters is to set the middle of the order up the with an opportunity to do some nine. damage. So when you hey. strike both of them out, you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. So now to the play, Ted Williams. Two and one to Ted Williams now. Two out, nobody on. To two and two now. Two strikes. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. The 2 2 one more time. To short, hit hard. A diving try, but he can't haul it in. It's through for a base hit. He'll get it into second. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. So a nice bounce back inning there after the seven spot last time around. Three innings complete. It's the Yankees nine and the Phillies nothing. Standing in now, Bryce Harper. Line shot to first, and there's one away. The batter number 10. Opportunity now to take a look at some of the future Eric players in the Yankee organization as our Road to the Show report spotlights a couple of guys that have been playing well in recent action.
at the plate now. Jurickson Profar. Outside, two and one. Hey, after the double in his first at bat, looks like he's trying to fix around this guy a little bit. Well, he just threw that fastball by him. No runs, three hits, and one error in the ballgame for the Phillies so far. To third. Scooped up. And there's out number two. The batter, number 11. Shortstop, Jimmy Rollins. Stepping in, Jimmy Rollins comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. No runs, three hits, and one error in the ballgame for the Phillies so far. And he fouls this one off. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Fouled away. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. They're down nine to nothing. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And in steps the iron horse, Lou Gehrig. The 1-1. One, one. Ball two. This is on the ground over to first. Hoskins gathers it in. He's and out. that's out number one. Now back. So digging Better in now, it. Mickey Mantle. Mickey. A hit in two at bats for Mantle. him at this point in the ballgame. The 1-1. One, one. Ball, that's out. One out, nobody on. And he goes the other way as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. Goodbye, home run. A solo shot here to left. One shy of the magic number now. 49 home runs thus far as the blowout continues. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. to the plate now Eddie Matthews one and two now as that one's fouled off bases are empty one man out lifted the other way to left center center fielder on the run but he's not going to get this one it's into the gap and he'll pull into second with one away but baseball is a game of streaks and runs, and he is on one right now. No question. He's swinging the bat very well of late. And when that's the case, you can't wait to get in the batter's box. Definitely the case in this game. That's his second base knock. This one for extra bases. That's now two hits so far for him in this one. Into the box now. Don Mattingly in the air now out to right field. Harper is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. The batter, the second baseman, Robinson. 
Coming to the Go plate now, throw. Robinson Cano, runner in scoring position with two gone. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. High in the air out to center field. Ashburn is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Yanks able to add on one more via the solo home run. We played four. It's now 10 zip. Now in the box, Davey Grion. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Now the fastball is swung on and missed. He is in complete command out on the mound today. He's got all four corners locked in, and now he's raising eye levels to boot. And it's fouled away. Now he extends nicely, and this ball is driven to right field and deep. And, oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. And the Phillies are able to get things started with a leadoff double. So up until this point, they've had to bite and scratch for every single thing. But he puts a good swing on this one and nearly knocks it out of the park. So we'll see if it's contagious and his partner can pick him up right here. At the plate, Nick Williams. A 3-1 count to the Phillies' left fielder. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. The 3-1. Checked his go. swing there, and did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire, so it's ball four. Now batting, the designated hitter. Oh, man, that check swing was about as close as they get. Tough call for the umpire, but it goes the batter's way this time, and he draws the walk. Back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring up the big bat of Paul Goldschmidt. The 1-1 home. Waves and misses for strike number two. One and two. Real ugly 0-1 swing there. As a pitcher, you've got to be hunting for the strikeout knowing you have this guy way off balance. The 1-2 gets him looking up around the letters. It's been a really rough day for this lineup. There's really no other way to say it. Not a lot of good scoring opportunities, and when they've had them, like right now, it's just been an uphill battle for them to make anything positive happen. So now to the plate, Richie Ashburn. In the dirt here. Runners may have thought about it, but they'll stay put, and the count moves to two and one. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. Runners are at first and second with one away. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. Mike Schmidt waits on deck. The three two pitch. And this is drifting foul back into the stands. He's set. Here's the three and two. A swing and he pops him up on the infield. And the infield fly rule will be in effect here. Now batting the third baseman, Mike Schmidt. Ready for another shot now, Mike Schmidt. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. Two men are on with two men out. Oh, 
left side. He's got it. Throw on to first is in time, and the Phillies are turned away. They get nothing out of this situation as the inning is over. Phillies leave a couple, starting to look bleak, down 10-0. Michael Walker gets the call to pitch now, here, and he'll try to two. sort this mess out. Number He's going to try to at least eat a couple Michael of innings for his guys. Walker. Digging in once again, Joe Torrey. Here's the pitch. Hit hard back up the middle, and that'll get on by into center field for a leadoff single. Sometimes you get lucky in this game. I don't think pitch recognition wise, he would choose oh, to swing at that exact pitch. That's your stop. But you know what? Caught Sometimes it. result is the only thing that matters. Wagner. Stepping in now, Hannes Wagner. This is line to left. And that'll get down for a base hit. Now batting, number nine. Into the box, Mini Minoso. Oh, not cheated on that one. It's two and two. Waka has compiled over 65 innings of work, and when you look at his whip over those innings, it's not a particularly pretty number, over 1.5, so he's often dealing with a lot of traffic on the base pads, unfortunately. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. Line to the right side. But this is right at him in right field as he hardly has to move to take it in for the first down. The designated hitter, number nine, Ken Williams. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Ted Williams. He was thrown out at second trying to stretch a base hit into a double in his last at bat. Yeah, Matty, his wheels got him in trouble a little bit last time. Tried to take advantage, oh, thought the defense was napping a little bit. In retrospect, maybe he should have just shut it down and steal second base. Hit on the ground to third. Gloved by Schmidt. Profar for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. We're back with more on a Sunday afternoon following this. New inning set to get underway, and next to bat will be the first baseman, Reese Hoskins. Swing and a miss got him reaching. The throw to first is in time, one down. So the shutout still intact here in the sixth as we check out the league leaderboard for Team ERA. And we find that these guys are currently third best in the AL in that department. Into the box now, Bryce Harper, a strikeout and a lineout for him so far. Swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Harper is retired, two down now. Now that Jerkson Profar digs in next. He was a ground out victim last time up. Here's the one and two delivery. Well below the knees laid off on the change up there. You know over the course of a full season you're going to have some clunkers and this certainly looks like one by the look on the manager's face. He's going to probably call a meeting after this. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. 
it's a fine line from working down in the zone on two and two and bouncing one in there that basically stands no chance of getting swung at. Right there, he basically spiked that one right into the dirt, and now he has to find the zone on a 3-2 pitch. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Phillies down in order. Lead looks insurmountable here. They're down 10-0. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and coming forward the veteran outfielder Lou Gehrig. Ball. And a fastball that misses up in the zone here. It's two and one. Now here it comes. Ball Takes three. that one a little bit low. Three balls and a strike now. We all know this guy is a great hitter in a 3-1 count. This is just what he's looking for. He loves to hit when the count's in his favor like this. Fouled off. And that one nope. misses. So the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the sixth. The center fielder, number seven, Mickey. Digging Mantle. in and looking for more. Mickey Mantle. He's two for three and looking for more here. The last at bat, Matty B. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off speed pitches. And boy, that misses as well. It's back to back walks to start out the inning. The batter, the third baseman, Eddie. So Matthews. coming to the plate, Eddie Matthews. So far, two for three in this one. Two, two, here it is. So a full three, count now. I'll tell you, it's a helpless feeling for a manager or a pitching coach when your pitchers are having a really hard time throwing strikes. What are you supposed to do other than keep trying new guys until someone starts attacking the zone? On the ground is short. This could be two. The second for one. On the first to complete the double play. Up next it's game. hard to do anything the with a pitch like that that's below the zone. Yeah. And if you do do anything with it, most of the time, this will be the result. A double play on a good pitch down in the zone. Don Mattingly will bat next. He's looking for hit number three here in this at bat. The 1 1 is taken for ball two. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. Waka comes set. 2 1 on its way. Now this is on the ground here for Pofar at second. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. A couple of walks, but no damage. On to the back third here this afternoon, and we've got it for you on the show. Digging in now, Jimmy Rollins, and he'll get us started in what's officially the back third of this one. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. And there's a line drive. Base hit to left field. Hey, they say in this game you better have a short memory. Well, that's obviously the case with this batter. He came into that third at bat after getting his ticket punched twice and was able to get a single. At the plate now, Davey Grion hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. A runner at first with no outs here. Yeah. 
And he struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. Got him with a good high fastball the there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch Nick in strikeout situations Wilco. these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good, high, hard fastball. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. Well, this pitching staff has done a pretty good job that, right there. That's the fourth time he struck ball. out, and we're only Ooh. in the second game of this series. Standing in now, Paul Goldschmidt. Oh, yeah. Nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. Inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here, three and one. No reason to sit on anything other than hard stuff in a location you like and drive it right now. The three and one pitch. Hit hard on the ground to third. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Wait, Philly kettle. strand one, Wait, starting to look kettle. bleak, down 10-0. Last half of the seventh here, and standing in is the power-hitting second baseman, Robinson Cano. Here it comes on one and one. Now some action in the Phillies bullpen as a right hander begins to crank it up out there. Hit back up the middle. Fielded cleanly. And a good throw gets him one gone. The catcher, number nine, Joe Torre. Now to the plate, Joe Torre. He singled his last time up. One out, nobody on. Heading out towards shallow right. Harper is in his tracks now. And yeah, that's out number two. The batter, number double zero, shortstop, Honnett Wagner. So back to the top of the Yankee order, digging in, Honnett Wagner. Last time through was a base hit. Waka steps into his windup, coming home with the 1-1 pitch. Skied into very shallow right. Harper has a read on it, and that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Bombers. But they're still in front, 10 to nothing. Goose Gossage has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 54, Goose. Sliding into the box, Richie Ashburn. His last at-bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. Yeah, this one's going to upset him for a little bit. You make the pitcher work the way he did right there, and that's the end result. That one sticks with you for a while. Final line there for now the Yankees batter. starting Third pitcher. Baseball. Great day's Mike. work any way you look at it. Matty V, what a nice performance in this one. Seven shutout innings watching for the dugout now. Hard to believe that he could pitch any better than he did through the first seven innings. At the plate, Mike Schmidt. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. 